Folks, you know my next guest tonight from Saturday Night Live, Train Wreck and Ibiza. Please welcome Vanessa Bayer. Nice to see you again. Thank you so much for having me. Um, did I pronounce that correctly? Ibiza? You did, you did, oh, yeah. You don't yes. say Ibiza or anything like uh, that? Well, I, when I try to say Ibiza, people are like, you know, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How yeah. have you been since the last I've summer? been good, yeah. I've been, you know, I've been watching your show a lot. You oh, know, thanks. And I saw Anne Hathaway was Oh, we had on. such a fun time with yeah, her. Yeah and, yeah, and she was talking about how she loves Drag Race, and then you surprised her with RuPaul. That, yeah, was, that was so cool. That was a great moment, yeah. Um, you know, I, I've started watching Drag Race, and I... <laughs> so, er, but, and I also love Real Housewives. It's a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. <laughs> er, and, uh, yeah. and 90 Day Fiance. Have you ever met any of them? No, I've never met any of those. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Still good to have you here, though. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good to have you here. Yeah. yeah. You have a you have a uh, very personal project. Yes. Right now, it's called "How Do You Care for a Very Sick Bear." Yes. And what what's it about? It's um it's a children's book that I wrote. You know, when I was 15, I was diagnosed with leukemia, and um, something that I experienced during that time was my friends really rallied around me so much, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to write this book about if you have a friend who's sick you know, what you can do to sort of help them, and it's really to be there for them. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Oh, that's thank lovely. you. Thank you. Now, you, you seem like a very positive person. Thank you. And, and is, uh, <laughs> and did, did that, did that predate your diagnosis, or was that a result of what you went through as a teenager, do you think? You know, I think I was always sort of a positive person, and that helped, I think that helped a lot when I was sick, but I also think that when I was sick, it really, um, in some ways, like, made me funnier, because I was always kind of, like, joking around with my family and my friends about, um, you know, cancer, which doesn't seem that funny, but when you, when you just, like, off it's got hand, that funny it's got sound. that kind of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, exactly, you get it, so, <laughs> yeah, cancer, um, but, yeah, very, I'm gonna start using that, but, um, but, yeah, <laughs> but, but I do think, like, it, and it, I also just experienced this thing of, like, laughing during hard times just helps, it's so healing, and it's so, mm -hmm. it makes everyone feel at ease, and it's just, such a wonderful thing. So I think sure. it's kind of why I ended up going into comedy is because of that experience. Well, um, you also, you work with uh, Make-A-Wish now, don't you? Yes, Were yeah. you a Make-A-Wish kid? I was a Make-A-Wish kid, yeah. What was, if you don't mind me asking, Yes, yes. So what was your... What my, my wish yeah, was? Sure, yeah. So initially, well, so I ended up going to Hawaii with my family, which was really wonderful. But initially, I wanted to meet Jared Leto as my wish because... <laughs> <laughs> I was a what year are we talking well, here? I, you know, it's a 90s kind of thing, a Which late Jared 90s. Which Leno? What was he doing at the time? Well, I loved my so-called life. Oh, sure. So I, it's still one of my favorite shows. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, I don't know what that face was, but, but it's one of my favorite shows, and I, I was just so in love with him. So I was like, okay, I'm going to meet Jared Leto. That's going to be my wish. And then I changed my mind, and I told my parents that I would rather meet Jared Leto when we were peers. Very confident teen. So confident. So you're 16, so was, you're like, 100%, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, we're going to work I, together. I would, I would actually rather meet him when we're peers. Yeah, so anyways, so then... Otherwise, it'll be weird. I, otherwise, otherwise, you know, you know. So anyways, then cut to, like... Uh, is that what this is? Because I got this back here. Well, yeah, so I was, so I was, yes, that's what that is. So I was... I was uh, presenting at the VMAs, the MTV VMAs, and um, who do I meet there who was also presenting? Jared Leto. So um, <laughs> I met him. <laughs> when we were, we, we met as peers, so. Oh, and he posted this. This is from... Yeah. Yes, Jared Leto posted a photo. It's not even a big deal, you guys. But yeah, he, <laughs> he posted a photo of Did us. Did you tell him? So, I, yes, we told him that story, and oh, he was wow. so nice about it. And uh, yeah, it was really amazing. I mean, my blind confidence as a teen really paid off. So. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, thank That's you. a lesson. There's yeah, a lesson yeah, in there. Thank you. Now, the, the, the book, as you said before, is about supporting friends. 
How did your community support you yeah. like, when you were in high school? Yeah, well, I mean, everybody in my grade was so supportive. I mean, I still, a lot of my friends from that time are still my closest friends to this day, but truly everyone, everyone at my school was so nice to the point where like, I'd be like, oh, like so-and-so, he's such a nice guy. And everyone would be like, he's a huge dickhead and like a bully. <laughs> he's just nice to you. Anyway, but so. so <laughs> he was nice to you. Yeah, because everyone was sick. so supportive and oh. they were like, wanted to be there for me, even if they were dickheads. <laughs> So, how long were you in treatment? Which cannot, so, it has to be horrible. Yeah, it was a, I mean, it was a difficult time, but yeah, I had um, treatment for a total of about two and a half years. Okay. The first year was more intense than the rest. But, were you still in high school? Um, when, I was when still it in finished? high school, and I finished the, the summer before my senior year of high school. Did you celebrate? I, cel I had an end of chemo party. Um, which was very cool, and sure. actually the police came because my brother's band was playing really loud, <laughs> and they thought that it was like an underage drinking party. So they came in, they <laughs> and they busted my end of chemo party, which is like, <laughs> who are you monsters? Like, how dare you? So your, your brother had a band? Yeah, my brother had a band. What kind of band? Kind of a punk band, and they were playing in our backyard, so okay. it's it's a noise disturbance. Did you ever sure. play with the? Were you part of the band? So I, Did he I, let you play with them? He let me open for his bands, like when he like when I was living in Chicago and stuff. His band would come to Chicago, and they'd be like these hardcore punk bands, and I'd open. Played exit or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, all yeah. those kinds of places, yeah. and it'd be all these punk kids in the audience, and I would just like go op for, open for them and make jokes about how like none of them had jobs and stuff. <laughs> 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 and they'd be like, why is she on stage at this show? <laughs> this makes no sense. Um, well, so lovely to see so you nice again. To see you. So the nice book to see is you. How Do You Care for a Very Sick Bear? It's in stores tomorrow. Vanessa Bear, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh!